Hi Bernard, welcome to the next video that we're releasing. This one just to talk about uh, the latest point release in Multigo Carbon. So we've moved from 3.5.1 to 3.5.2, included a whole bunch of fixes, uh, some new features, some new transforms and entities as well. And we'll just run through those really quickly. So one of the new features that we've added that you'll see is when you activate the tool, you can now use offline activation. So you don't need to be online uh, if you're working in a secured environment that doesn't have a net connection or something like that. You can now activate your tool uh, there, which is quite nice for people who have wanted that for a while. Uh, then we finally fixed some of the machines. So you would have noticed that the uh, footprinting machines had a couple of bugs with them uh, where they wouldn't run recently. We fixed those. So if you're trying to run a machine, you can now pick one of the footprinting uh, machines Put in your domain and then it will kick off without any problems. So that's quite nice that we've updated that. Uh, we've also added a new machine that's uh, to wiki edits. So you'll be able to take your footprint, look at the IP addresses that you get out and then uh, see if there have been any wiki pages that have been edited. Uh, and then we've done a whole bunch with looking at uh, Twitter and geolocation. So we finally fixed all of those transforms that people have been wanting uh, to now get those details back into the graph. Okay, so I'm just going to stop this machine. Uh, okay, so you'll see that there's a, a couple of new entities that we've got uh, now available in the palette as well. So there's a circular area, which is just a, an area of uh, coordinates with a radius around it. GPS coordinates, so specific long and lats. Uh, that you can now use. So if I drag one of these in, I set it to a long and lat that I'm interested in, then I can say, okay, run a transform here that says two tweets from GPS. So what this does is it will find tweets around, uh, that have been tagged around that area with a particular radius. In this case, just one kilometer. All right, we can run that. That will then go and request from the API. We'll get all the tweets back uh, from there. In this case, I'm just doing 50. So then I can take these individual tweets and I can say, okay, show me the specific coordinates. So to tweet geolocation, and that will then pull out the coordinates that these were tagged with uh, into my graph. So there you can see them coming out as well as any areas if they are uh, listed. So wait for that to finish. Okay, and there you can see that I've got all the individual tweets out and their locations. And what I can do then is say, okay, well, for these locations, I want to plot them into areas so I can see where they are closely related. So I can take all of these individual ones and I can run the transform that says uh, to area. And that will ask me for the size of the uh, area in meters. So in this case, I'm going to say, let's say something like 250 meters. And when I run that, it will then go and plot those and hopefully we'll get a couple that are in the same area. Uh, so we can say, okay, well, these tweets are all from that particular location. Uh, so it's nice to be able to manage that stuff and to be able to say, okay, well, these all link up at these particular locations. So these are the ones I'm interested in, or perhaps these are, are something of a particular interest because of that. Uh, then, of course, we still have the same to URL that we showed with uh, Kingfisher, Black Hat. Uh, what you can do is then you can send parts of your graph or the whole graph to a particular web application and then you can have it do various things. So we've got one internally that we use here that I'm just going to show you. So if I select a whole bunch of these, I uh, don't want that one, then I can say, okay, well, I'm going to send this to a URL. So, and I'm going to put in my particular URL here. When I run that, there you'll see that we've actually plotted it uh, on an individual graph. So I can now say, okay, well, what did someone say here? And I can see the different areas that they were in. So there's a few that were in the same area. Uh, so it's a quite a nice way to be able to visualize this outside of Multigo as well if you want to represent a whole bunch of data in a different way. Okay, one of the other new machines that we've got, uh, so if I say run machine here, you'll see this one that does tweet analyzer. And this basically will monitor tweets for um, various text around something that you search for and then run sentiment extraction on there to try to say, okay, well, most of these are positive or negative and you can start using that. One of the guys in the office has been working very hard on this. Um, and if I take a, a term, oh, he's just behind me over there. If I take a term and I uh, run it now, you'll see that it drops the, the phrase down. It's now going to go and find all the tweets. And it's got a whole bunch of tweets from that. And there it's going to start 
uh, pulling out different things. So URLs, hashtags, and then run sentiment extraction at the end. So I'm going to switch that to bubble view while we wait for that. Uh, so we do use a number of APIs, but not all of these APIs are uh, that reliable. So we're getting a mixed bag of results. So it's just something to keep in mind when you are looking at the results and wondering, hey, why is this now positive or negative? Um, it could be a false positive. Uh, that is the data that we're getting back from the APIs. Okay, so here you can see the machine is now running. It's uh, analyzing the tweets for sentiment, and then the sentiments start coming out. So it's a lot of neutral, obviously quite a, quite a few negative ones as well uh, when dealing with that, uh, that term that we search for. Uh, of course, you can also combine this with the uh, other machine that we used. So you could say, okay, well, from a particular location, find me all the tweets or all the things that people have said. And from there, then let me look at the sentiment so I can see that there's mostly positive, negative, or neutral uh, things being said on Twitter around a particular location. So it's quite a nice way to uh, merge those two. This update is currently available, so you can wait for uh, it to automatically happen. Uh, you can run the discovery yourself. So if you click on manage and click discover, you'll also get the new transforms, uh, or that should happen automatically within the tool. So thanks a lot for watching our latest update video, and we'll see you guys next time.